Okay, so I wanted to do the challenge that Dina Noland had fought up, which is the In Their Shoes challenge, where basically you draw a lot of objects or clothing and especially a pair of shoes that your character would possibly wear or use or I don't know. I took this quite um, literally and then figuratively. I'm going to be doing the character from my book, my actual novel, Princess Cursed. And um, the main character is called Cora Stone and she sort of goes to this battle mage school and she sneaks herself into it even though she doesn't have any of the magical powers that you need to get in but she's kind of a badass and she wanted to go to that place because she has dreams of traveling and being away from her village and a tragic past that kind of would always put her down and be around her if she stayed in her hometown so she runs away and I thought she would just be wearing like a plain sort of cream tunic and maybe with green sleeves because she likes green, I don't know, I think she would like green. And also she's very messy so she would have a lot of dirt on her clothes, she wouldn't really be bothered about that. She gets in a lot of battles and stuff um, during the story so she would have blood everywhere. In, in a sense she probably would clean herself and get rid of this stuff if she could but the way that the story progresses is that a lot of the time they're not really in a place where they can just have a shower you know and clean their clothes because they're having constant battles and running away from people and stuff but that's a little bit of a spoiler so obviously I drew her sword which would be her you know her extra arm she would never leave that lying around so that's very special to her I also drew like a medieval harp because although I don't think she she would play music and um, this is where I took it figuratively she would listen to music she loves music and things like that because she's a dancer um, in like first versions of the story I always had her as a dancer performing at a festival but in later versions I edited that out but in back of my mind she always was a dancer is a dancer she enjoys music that's kind of something that never gets mentioned in the story really but it's just something that I know about her personally and I think it brings around a picture to the characters when you know them quite in depth and you know little things about them that you wouldn't necessarily mention but you know their past and all these different things I think that's really useful that's why I really like this challenge because it made me think actually like what would she what are I, I items would she have because the way the story goes is that they are very limited in what they have um, during the story as it progresses but I was thinking like oh if she's in a normal setting just like a normal teenager <laughs> except for the blood obviously what kind of things would she like in this kind of medieval fantasy land so I did her boots and then I had like green thick socks sticking out the top because again I think she likes green and um, she doesn't really have any fancy except this coat which is really made of fur and just beautiful colours that she would like because in this land uh, her partner can create things for her so they can make any object that they want and she can she's been made this coat by her partner her soul twin basically that's a little bit of spoiler but whatever <laughs> and then there's this necklace that also got edited out of the original story but this necklace in this picture is given to her by her partner because this is a necklace that her pe partner's parents gave her and then when her partner meets her basically her partner is like a soul twin somebody that she had a connection with instantly and they need each other so her soul twin gives her this necklace in another version of the story but I edited that out again but you know it's in the back of my mind I know that she has this uh, jewelry or whatever I also drew this book and not because Cora Stone likes reading or anything she is she will go to lessons but she won't listen she'll be inattentive her mind will be elsewhere she wants to travel more than she wants to sit down and read a book but she has this book because her partner really enjoys studying and learning and she's more of a learned person than Cora is and at one point um, when they get separated this book reminds her of her partner and she clings on to it a lot so that book I thought needed to be added to this section of the drawing. I also added in a loaf of bread because I think Cora would quite like a lot of bread and things like that like a hearty meal I think she finds comfort in those types of things and there's plenty of times when they go without a meal in the story so I think she's probably constantly dreaming of the baked goods that she had back in her hometown. So that's it, that's my character Cora Stone and I want to do her partners in their shoes challenge as well and I think that would be quite good, quite contrasting to her 
um, messy ways because I think her partner would be very clean and have different interests and I think it would be quite cool to see them together. But yeah, if you want to read this story, it's in the link is down below. It's quite short and it's the first one in a trilogy. I'm going to be releasing the next two soon. I hope I'm just editing them. But yeah, it's a fun story. So if you liked this drawing and wanted to know more about her, then you can. She's in the story down below. Anyway, that's it for me, guys. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more content and I will see you next time. Bye. I'd just like to thank my patrons. They are the $12 tier patrons and they get a shout out at the end of my videos. So if you would like a shout out, go check out the link down below. But they are Erica, Megaya, Tim, Tom, Cecile, James, Stephen Lee, and Babbitt. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Bye.